Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to become the chartered engineer. If you are a quality engineer or site engineer or project engineer or design engineer, I have given the example for all of you. I will explain how easy it is to achieve the uh, certification. What are the procedures you have to follow? What are the do's and don't do's you need to know when you fill up the form? Let's start the video. So you can become chartered engineer from a different institution. I particularly selected IMECI institution of mechanical engineer from UK because of some of the important reason. The first reason is, is the global recognition. IMECI chartered engineer is internationally recognized providing professional credibility in many countries. Professional development resources. They offer exclusive resources including technical journals, conference and training sessions, benchmark of quality, impact and sustainability, innovation and many more. So now we will see what are the different steps we have to follow when you go for the chartered engineer application. The first step is a CLAR career learning assessment 1 and second step CLA2 or career learning assessment 2 and third step you have to submit a detailed application form to the IMAKI and finally fourth step you have a very detailed around one hour detailed interview you have to attend to become the chartered engineer. For each topic, I need more time to explain each and every point. So in this part 1 video, I have covered the career learning assessment part 1. So let's start the detailed explanation of this one. So you can see this form uh, CLA1 eligibility. So I am going to explain in this video uh, the complete question and answer how you have to fill the form and what are the difficulty you will face in this form. So in the first thing, it contains 4 questions and uh, what are the points you need to understand. The first one is, it is possible to achieve Chartered engineer registration without a holding a master degree. So this one many of you uh, many of the people have some doubt like uh, without master degree can I do or not? Yes, you can do without a master degree you can do. So in my case I have bachelor of engineering degree in mechanical engineering. So I have to do some specific uh, specific requirement that means I have to start from CLA 1. That is what I am going to explain now. So CLA 1 or career, career learning assessment process could be a suitable route for you to demonstrate the master level of knowledge and understanding required for engineering. Suppose you are doing the master degree. So what are the levels and uh, what are the knowledge and understanding you will get from the master degree. Same equal knowledge you have to explain. Uh, you have to answer for these four questions which is coming in the CLA part 1. So if you already hold degree level qualification in the engineering subject, you may already meet the benchmark academic requirement for the IMAKI. So CLA is a two stage process. The first stage process is a eligibility for the process means before you go to the before you apply for the uh, chartered engineer, the IMAKI has to know you are eligible for you are eligible to apply for the chartered engineer. So it is the CLA one that means the career learning assessment one is the eligibility checkpoint for all the engineers. Second stage assesses the level of knowledge and understanding you have developed. I mean second stage means CLA two the next stage that explains that assesses the levels of knowledge and understanding you have developed developed through your career. You need to answer little bit lengthy for all the questions. So here there will be lots of questions will come and also your answer also you have to uh, a little bit explain more lengthy. So this is the second step. You will need to submit the stage 1 form CLA 1 first and after the successful of your application you have to go for the stage 2. So common mistake in CLA 1. The first thing, for example, I have 15, just for example, I have 15 years of experience and I, I have executed many projects in different field and I have solved many side problems. So can I write all those complex issues in the CLA form for that questions? The answer is no. It is important to focus upon what you have learned and not what you have done. That is the key difference between the experience and the chartered engineer. So example, in my project site, I got the classes, I mean in the ceiling wide there are plenty of services are passing in the building. For example, water supply, firefighting, drainage, HVAC and electrical service. So in the ceiling wide. So I, uh, because there are some classes between the two services. So as, as an engineer, site engineer, I adjusted the water supply pipes routing and rectified the changes with the proper coordination with the all other team. So the question here is, did I learn any engineering knowledge from solving the above problem? So we have solved based on our experience, but as a chartered engineer, they are not expecting your experience. They are expecting what the engineering subject you have learned from your experience. So the answer for this question is no. Then what they are expecting? Now we will see their expectation. So don't focus on the activities. Don't focus on the activities 
projects or product or process themselves but on the learnings that you gain when working on the projects or something so things in term of engineering subject means you have to know that what they are expecting uh, clearly as a certain engineer means your application form should contain the detail that means you have learned something related to stress pressure materials thermodynamics fatigue friction vibration fluid dynamics design cfd final element analysis dynamics the control or mechanical processes so these are the different engineering subjects are there and you have to explain that you have learned something related to this engineering subject not the uh, uh, not the work you have executed that they exactly don't want you have to prove that you have learned something based on um, the activity from these subjects so coming to the next one the assessor need to see a similar level of learning the knowledge and understanding that they might find a typical master program so if you are executing a master degree what type of knowledge you will get and understanding you will get the same you have to show in the cla stage 1 assessment so when drafting a C, your cla form what first you have to do you create a list of key activities for example you were in the site for last 5 years or 10 years you list on all the projects and you you just make a list on of what are the activities or roles you did in your career and write down the area of engineering learning means because of that activity what you learned so that i will explain for each question very clearly in this video so after that always don't uh, always you have to write i did i executed i learned instead of using the word we did we executed our project etc so always you need to focus i did i learned means as means it should be can can like you only did everything means not everything at least you are the part of that one based on that one you executed instead of using the word we did we executed so maximum 200 words for all the questions you have to use in the cla as career learning assessment one so now we will start the form filling so i have attached the same form in the i have given the link in the description also you can download the form so first you can see here we have to fill some basic details so first you have to fill your name uh, the title you have to choose mr or mrs you have to fill your basic information first name uh, surname the date of birth the email address and the contact number so after providing this detail they will ask what category you are choosing like chartered engineer or incorporated engineer so i have selected chartered engineer what is your highest academic qualification a bachelor degree with engineering subject background a bachelor degree with non engineering subject diploma diploma certificate or other qualification or any special requirement you have done so this type of basic information they will ask after that you have to fill the graduation year and the finally experience requirement like how much experience you have so after selecting this one a new option will be open here so from here i will show you i will give the explanation so first point you can see here so the very first question in the cla stage 1 is which statement best describes your knowledge and understanding of scientific principle and methodology such as the theory of uh, the conservation of energy or the law of motion or fluid mechanics or uh, anything uh, related to the thermodynamics like that so the, there are five options are available here the first option is i am just aware of the scientific principle and second question is second answer is yes i know and i understand about scientific, uh, scientific principle and the third answer is i have have the necessary know how to apply the scientific principles and finally i can evaluate the i can evaluate the scientific principle so these four option you should not choose if you want to become a chartered engineer and the final option this is always for all the question there will be a final answer you have to choose the last one that is the important requirement for the chartered engineer so here what i have selected i can apply I I can integrate the scientific principle and methodologies in my work and to the areas outside of my own specification. So here the point is very important. So here you explain like you are able to understand how diverse scientific principles such as nuclear physics or whatever it is, and you integrate the scientific principle. and related to the work and outside the specification so this is the last point we always choose for the chartered engineer now we will see some example related to site engineer or the design engineer we will see some example now so this question is about our knowledge and understanding of engineering subjects so did you develop any engineering subject knowledge in your work like thermodynamics fluid mechanics law of motion law of conservation of energy or etc so example for site engineer quality engineer or project engineer for example i have developed my understanding of metallurgy of hvac piping material in chilled water piping installation i did uh, 
sealed and metal arc welding SMAW welding to join two chilled water pipes. During the non-destructive testing, I mean the radiography testing, our specialist team came and they did the radiography testing. They observed that there is a root crack crack in the joining of the welding the pipelines so i develop my understanding how this happened i analyzed various welding methodology welding procedure testing methods its acceptable limits etc and coordinated with a specialist team and i propose uh, instead of uh, smaw welding i propose tungsten inert gas welding for the root for the root and for the other passes means here there are four passes normally come in the welding for example if you do the welding like this this is a section of the welding. I mean, this is a two pipeline. This is one pipeline and this is another pipeline. So we will say this is a root pass, then hard pass. Then after that, we have the filling. After that, we have the capping. So there are four different passes normally will come for the welding. So what I did in the earlier stage, I did the SMAW welding for the root pass. And the second case, now I propose TIG. I mean the tungsten inner gas welding for the root pass. And for the other passes, I propose the SMAW welding. Because of what? Because you have to highlight some important reason. So here the important thing is you have researched. You did some research. How? Means how the welding procedure is happening what are the welding methodology testing methods is acceptable limits etc so you did a, uh, a good research on this item you have developed your understanding of the metallurgy so this is one of the uh, engineering subject so now this is this way you have to show that you have developed something related to engineering subject and you have achieved something so like this it's a little bit detailed way you have to write so as a design engineer how to write yes we have a project where we have the outdoor seating area for example let's say that we have the villa project here from the top view and uh, here we have the uh, swimming pool so the people want to sit here at this point so they want the cooling air where they are where they are sitting so this area so uh, we have a project where outdoor seating area near swimming pool is there client wants to provide the cooling in that seating area particularly only for this seating area from the bottom they want the cooling so as a hvc engineer rather than simply performing cooling load calculation i did cfd to clearly understand the temperature and dissipation in different area and air distribution because this is the open area so there will be a different temperature uh, will hit there will be different wind speed will come so i need to perform proper cfd analysis for the proper cooling load so in order to do the cfd i need to work related to heat transfer and the runs average navier stroke equation and so there are some basic equation we have to solve when you do the cfd analysis so this type of uh, specialty you can write in the the first subject because CFD is also part of the, the fluid dynamics is part also part of the engineering subject. So this type of thing you can write when it comes to the first question. So in addition to all these two examples, I have given the third example also. This is related to again the metallurgy. I have developed my understanding of metallurgy to realize that steel is subject to numerous stress when utilized in high temperature and pressurization system. Thermal fatigue through high temperature gradients in transient condition, excessive hoop stresses or compressive stress through over pressurization or fly cycle issues such as creep fatigue through continued operation at a high temperature can all initiate crack growth at grain boundaries within the microstructure of steel. So there are plenty of engineering subject word we have here uh, like uh, hoop stress, thermal fatigue, uh, creep fatigue and uh, crack growth. So this type of different things we have as a problem. So what is the solution? Material choice can mitigate risk but high performing materials such as nine chrome molybdenum steels must be treated correctly when worked upon to ensure its resistance to those strains are maintained. So here what is the problem I have highlighted. So what I did, what I studied and how I mitigated that I highlighted. So like this way I have given three examples and now I hope you are very clear with the first topics. So based on your experience just list down, list down all the activities and uh, make sure that which activities of viewers executed work is following the engineering subjects and you can write down the word maximum 200 words so now we have completed the first question with three different examples and similar to this one we have second third and fourth question i will explain i will provide different example for your clear understanding to complete other questions also in the next video so thank you for watching the video so now you download the application form and start filling the application form with the next video we are going to continue with the second thing and the next video will be published very soon within one or two days thank you for watching the video we will see you again with another interesting topic thank you